right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31 with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas. And Really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Nice punch by Volkanovski. Volkanovski gets tattooed by that straight punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, misses with the jab. 
Nice punch lands over the top. some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Back to the feet now. Straight right hand, no good. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real quick leg kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? with that jab attempt there. Keep going again. Go on again. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Volkanovski. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be a huge connection right there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Volkanovski. Nice one, two there. Punch over the top. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Right hand over the top. Oh, nice. Nice. Hand just misses. Good punch, Lance. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round, no doubt. Oh, what a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, it's a huge shot here, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is. What a round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, He's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Nice punch there by Volkanovski. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. 
Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Way to hide that leg kick. Right hand on point. Big kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hand was phenomenal. Nice punch there. That off with DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great point. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, elbow to the head, right out of the face. Out of the face. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good, solid strike on the ground. Up right, left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Good exchange there inside. Oh man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch land. Ooh. And both guys really throwing with authority. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Volkanovski gets back up, back into his comfort zone. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. That one snuck in. Nice strike. How about that chin? You get up, you go down as another takedown attempt lands. Both fighters get up now. Huge knee land. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That knee might have landed there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. All right, he engages in the single collar oh, tie. Man. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards. That's what happens when this guy hits the double. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Goes back to that left kick once again. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. 
but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Side leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. That was a good leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold out after time. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in his fight against Max Holloway. Oh. He's like, serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. And he's back up. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's oh. just like that. Oh. Oh. lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be receiving it of those types of strikes. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful kick. Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Volkanovski. Right oh, up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, straight to the body by Volkanovski. Finished him because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh! He's done! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know, we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight ring. Just an incredible result for him here. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano has come to stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the... Wow, 
All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, he was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight. 